So I have a confession to make. And this isn't easy to say. In fact, I've been hiding this uh, for about as many years as, uh, as I've run Stringjoy. And, uh, and I feel that it's time, it's time to, to come on out to it. You know, me and you here, here today. Um, well, the, the secret to cut to the chase is uh, I'm, I'm kind of a bassist. Now, I'm not just a bassist. I've been playing guitar pretty much as long as I've been playing bass. Um, in fact, I learned guitar, learned bass like a month later uh, in order to join my school's band. Um, but I've been playing bass for as long as I've been playing guitar. I actually love playing bass. I, might, I sometimes like playing it more than I play guitar. Uh, but I haven't really played it a bunch on this channel because I sense a lot of you are guitarists out there. Maybe we'll try to change that a little bit. But today we're going to bridge that gap and do a video I've been really excited about doing for a long time. We're going to take electric guitar strings and put them on a bass and see what the heck happens. Now I've been wanting to do this for a long time. The issue has been that I mostly have like 34 inch or even 32 inch scale basses and the G string, whatever I wanted to use for that, isn't quite long enough using a guitar string to fit onto there. Uh, I'd been meaning forever to have the production guys run me like a longer string, uh, but faster than that actually happened. Um, I got a short scale bass, which made it possible for me to get an electric guitar string into the tuning peg. It's not easy, uh, but it's doable. So because of that, we can finally scratch this weird itch that I've had for years and see what happens if we take a bass, put standard electric guitar strings on it, you know, like an EADG out of a standard electric guitar string set, and make it play like a four string guitar. Uh, some people do this, tuning a bass up uh, an octave with, with bass strings, but we're not going to do that. We're going to take the bottom end of a normal guitar string set, and we're going to see what the heck happens. Uh, one weird thing we are going to do today is we're going to use a wound G uh, so that we have four wound strings. This would be, you know, not, not totally atypical for an electric guitar, um, but more fitting of a bass, and I thought it would make a little bit more sense with the ethos. Uh, but we're going to show you what the bass sounds like on its own. We're going to change the strings. I'm going to show you one trick uh, that you need to know if you want to do anything crazy like this in your own uh, world. Uh, and then we're going to see what it sounds like uh, as a guitar. We're going to play it probably both through a DI and through an electric guitar amp so we can have a little bit of fun uh, with both. All right, so first up, we're going to show you what this Mustang sounds like on its own. You might be thinking at home, Scott, I know what a bass sounds like. I don't need to hear what a bass sounds like, but if I don't show you, somebody's going to be down in the comments saying, how do we know it sounded any different? We don't know what the bass sounded like dry, so I'm going to play the bass dry uh, so that, you know, you know. Good enough. All right, so for this experiment, we're going to be doing 22, 28, 38, and 50. I have this custom set uh, of strings that the guys cooked up for me. I actually have two of each of them in here because I'm not sure if we're going to break one. I have not done this before, so we're, we're doing it live together. Uh, one trick that I want to show you, I'm not going to show you the whole string change thing because you probably don't have all day, but as you may or may not know, let me get one of these out of here, uh, bass strings, have have bigger balls than guitar strings. Ah, yeah, I get it, all right. Uh, but, you know, we'll hold them up. Guitar strings have these small bead ends, and then bass have larger ones. So, if we try to put a regular guitar string through the end of a bass, it's just gonna pull right out, because <laughs> the holes, generally, for most basses, are larger, and a guitar string won't work at all. So, one trick that I've devised, this is a Scott Marquardt original here, uh, is if we take the ball ends off of a bass string, which obviously we just have these things lying around, but you could cut them off of a set of bass strings if you wanted to try this at home for some weird reason. But take these guys and then we just feed them over the top of an electric string, kind of like that. And they go all the way to the bottom. They should anchor just fine uh, against the smaller guitar bead. Um, is this a perfect solution? No, uh, not at all. <laughs> Nothing about this is a great solution, but it should work for us to be able to pull through. I'll check real quick before we tune everything up. Yeah, so it's working. You know, basically just kind of makes that hole a little bit smaller in the base bridge end. Uh, this should be all we need to, to try to get, get tuned up. So I'm going to work on these, uh, and then I'll meet you on the other side once I've figured out how to get them properly installed. 
So it was not easy, but we did get everything strung up. I went through two 22s uh, trying to get everything anchored, but I think it's gonna hold for us and I'm really stoked to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, it's a, it's a totally different experience. I mean, honestly, uh, playing it like a bass, just with everything being so thin, the, the like attack's mm. kind of similar, but like getting your, your fingers around strings that are that thin is just a totally different experience. Now I also want to take a look at what this sounds like through a guitar amp. Um, it, I'll be interested to hear what the DI take sounds like. I actually can't hear it in here right now. Um, but you know, we could also view this as like electric guitar strings through a P bass pickup into a guitar amp. Uh, so let's take a look at what that sounds like too. And then uh, let's do some chorus. And then, of course, let's see what it sounds like with some fuzz. And then I'm gonna mess around with the pick and the fuzz too, because I can't help it. This is this is actually kind of fun. So takeaways, this was a ton of fun. This is like maybe the most fun video uh, on my end that I've ever shot, uh, partly because it worked out pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't know why you'd really wanna do this. I've seen some solo basses that will use piccolo basses um, for solo work. Again, I, I don't know why you wouldn't just play a guitar personally. Um, coming in here and listening to like the DII track, what was most striking to me was that like the, the bass with guitar strings through a DI sounded pretty bassy. I mean, it's, it sounded like a bass, an, an octave up, certainly, um, but it had a lot of that bass characteristic. It didn't really uh, thin it out as much as I thought. Um, and then hearing the bass going through a guitar amp was super cool. Um, it was interesting to hear like a P bass pickup running into a fuzz, you know, even with like it being uh, a standard guitar string. Um, yeah, I would love to hear uh, a guitar with a P bass style pickup in it. I don't know if we can make that happen one day, but if we can, it'd be super cool. So what did we learn today? We learned that everything sounds good through a fuzz pedal um, and that doing things that you shouldn't do to your bass can, can yield some cool to results. I don't know if this really has a musical application. Um, if anyone out there really wants to you know, try, by all means, that could be cool. For me, I don't think I'll be making any music through it that I wouldn't otherwise, but it was pretty fun uh, and, and, and fun to hear your bass guitar sound, you know, like a guitar, especially if you like that bad can amp. That was pretty cool. Anyway, hope you dug it. Uh, if you have any weird, crazy ideas that you think we should try out, leave them in the comments below, and be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you dig this video. <laughs>